Well, okay then. Um, welcome everybody uh, officially to the uh, uh, yeah Tetrick Workshop Week and the ABCD um, yeah, maintenance group uh, meeting. Um, and I've uh, I'm not sure if you've already have the the agenda open. Uh, quickly copy that in in the chat. So we uh, I've prepared a notes document. Um, and um, uh, yeah, but I guess uh, you're already all in there. Um, okay, and then let me share screen or uh, Ben, can you allow screen sharing? Yes. There you go. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Uh, Okay, then uh, yeah, I, I prepared some some notes from or yeah, version of the slides. Um, so uh, this said, <laughs> welcome everybody. Um, here uh, on the the notes on the agenda. Um, we already did this, and just a quick look on uh, yeah, uh, what I have in mind for the for the agenda for today. Um, so we uh, yeah give you a quick update on what has happened in the past year or a little bit over a year since the last uh, group meeting. Um, and then on the status of this group. Um, and then uh, connected to that is also the, the new charter. Um, this will probably be our uh, main focus for today. Just uh, take a look at the new charter and um, see what, uh, yeah, what we, uh, that we can kind of complete this and uh, hand it in uh, at the for the next executive. And um, we have a couple of terms where we have new definitions, uh, mainly because they had none before in the, in the old uh, version. So I um, also wanted to, to show you that. And uh, also let's take a quick look at some of the GitHub issues that have uh, opened up since and a, a bit of an outlook. Um, I have the feeling that we are not going to need those uh, one and a half hours that we have reserved for now, um, but uh, let's see where the discussion brings us. Okay, um, so uh, in terms of, okay, the status report, what has happened? Uh, in general, uh, not that much in the last year. Um, we, we did a few things, uh, but not as much as uh, I had initially hoped. Um, so when I pre was preparing for this, I also looked at the um, uh, the annual report from uh, yeah from the last meeting, which was not last year, but the year before, and, and what we had in the outlook there. Uh, so. We still have some things to do, but uh, it's also the, not that we were completely uh, uh, lazy. So uh, yeah, um, uh, Steve Baskov and I worked on the new version of the charter. Uh, yeah, we will take a look at this later. Uh, then uh, I added some missing definitions to the terms. Um, I worked on on the processing for the for the better term documentation um, and and also in preparation of the re ratification. Again, it's not as complete, but as I wanted it to be. But um, it's work in progress. Uh, I did make make some progress there. Um, I also uh, helped the the MITS team because they were looking for mapping the MITS terms to um, existing data standards. And I did the mappings for uh, ABCD uh, that I documented here. And we also had a joint session with Elspeth and um, uh, Sam uh, in, in October, I think, uh, uh, where we discussed this a bit further. Um, and then also, Slightly related in, in another project, so in the European project, NFT for biodiversity, um, we um, yeah have a working group focusing on um, schema.org and bioschemas.org. And uh, within that group, uh, we are currently working on a uh, script that can turn ABCD file into the schema.org record uh, for the 
data set and maybe eventually also for some of the uh, lower terms as well. So for the individual records. Um, uh, so maybe this might also be useful within this community. Uh, we certainly have to document this somehow that, uh, yeah, uh, work has been going on there. And um, so for people who want to have like data set landing pages, they can um, generate the schema.org markup uh, uh, with this script and um, make those pages better uh, findable via Google dataset search and things like that. Um, now, uh, regarding the status of this group, so in the previous years, uh, this was always called the uh, ABCD interest group. And um, uh, yeah, Steve Baskov pointed out that this is kind of an um, not really fitting anymore since this is directly related to data standard. And in the vocabulary maintenance standard, uh, it, it specifies that them as yeah vocabulary maintenance interest groups, or commonly uh, uh, referred to as just maintenance groups. And so maintenance group is a special kind of interest group that is tasked with maintaining a data standard. Uh, it's more like a formality. Uh, uh, and I know that I've been kind of inconsistent in the uh, preparation of this meeting uh, as well, uh, sometimes calling it interest group and sometimes uh, maintenance group. Uh, but just kind of yeah, more of an announcement that with the new uh, um, uh, uh, with the new charter, we are uh, then officially renaming this group to uh, the ABCD maintenance group. Um, also, um, as Steve mentioned, this um, uh, in um, a task group, no sorry, um, uh, an interest group. Um, kind of has to to show that they are still relevant to, to so to say uh, uh, and that there's actually interest going on and otherwise it should be disbanded whereas while uh, standard is still uh, a recommended Tedwig standard um, there is a maintenance group for it so this kind of makes the formality a bit easier so this kind of yeah uh, mostly an announcement uh, uh, that uh, from here on, this will be the ABCD maintenance group. Uh, and that brings us to the topic of the new charter. Um, it's also linked in the document. Uh, uh, um, and yeah, I, I want to use this time just to go over the text that uh, Steve and I uh, um, yeah, have worked on and see if you have any feedback on that or um, yeah, any changes. In general, we kept it quite short, uh, especially compared to the previous charter. Um, yeah. Okay, we start with the conveners. This would be Anton and myself. Um, can, you, uh, can, can we comment uh, directly? Yeah, sure, sure. Go ahead. Can, can you please swap the names? <laughs> okay. Because uh, it's pretty clear that you are the major driver here. Okay, sure. Um, and then for the for the core members, um, so everything that's in in gray here is kind of um, uh, uh, the part that um, uh, uh, that was in the template for the um, charters, um, where it's kind of like explanation text. Um, I I think I don't want to um, read like all of this in, in general, but just kind of, uh, yeah, the core members, the people who have uh, actively um, uh, mentioned interest and in, in, yeah, wanting to be part of, of this group, um, which brings us to the question on for Patricia and Gabi, whether uh, you want to be listed on there as well. Well, is Frank still active? Um, yeah, well, he, um, I, so I, I wrote them prior to this meeting an email. Mm -hmm. um, and Frank also wrote to, to Sita on whether he, he mentioned that he wanted to join, which is kind of uh, okay. yeah, a bit odd uh, that, that he isn't here today. Yeah. Okay, um, because also... he's working now for partly for CETAF, so 
but it's fine. Huh? Uh, yeah, exactly. He wanted to be uh, also representing CTAF mm -hmm. uh, 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 in this round. Anton? Um, two questions, actually. The first one being um, the term core members suggests Mm -hmm. That there are also not so core members, or what? What is? Or is every member a core member, or how is this organized? Um, no, in in general, um, uh, sorry, can you hear that? My lamp is making a strange noise. I can, we can hear you. Yeah, if, if 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 it's not in recording, then I can continue. I can. So we don't it. hear the lamp. So yeah, we can oh, yeah, hear yeah. you. Okay, that, 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 that's <laughs> great. That's great. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, exactly. The uh, um, since those gr the groups are uh, meant to be open and also um, uh, have yeah uh, encouraged participation uh, from from people just on on an occasion level uh, yeah there there is a, a kind of like second class uh, of, of people core members is the idea that uh, since this is uh, the the charter and it's a bit more stable. Uh, uh, here we should have the people who are yeah, probably going to be long term involved with the group, and so people who just uh, uh, regularly come to the meetings uh, uh, but don't want to be mentioned here. That that's perfectly fine as well, just to keep a bit of flexibility. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, well, you can add my name. Okay. Because uh, I'm involved with the CTAF Earth Science Group for the EFG, and I'm still following a bit the extension on DNA and so on. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, in Meiser, they completely moved to Darwin Core. So I, yeah. I don't have <laughs> any support or input from there anymore for the moment yeah. for, for ABCD, unfortunately. Oh. Okay. What the... oh. So, uh, well, add me with the Royal Museum for Central okay, Africa. Okay, okay, okay. I can do that. So, because we don't have any geology in Mason. So. <laughs> and I, I stay on a silent observer map. Well. Okay, that, that that that's okay. So, um, so and then, uh, yeah, what's the motivation of this group? And then, the purpose of the ABCD maintenance group is to maintain the ABCD, access to biological collection data, standard and its associated vocabularies and to adjust them to new requirements from the community through the addition or revision of terms. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. Um, uh, yeah. uh, and um, becoming involved. So this is the part that yeah, says okay. This is required uh, if somebody wants to get in contact. Um, uh, the work done by this group is open for participation from all interested community members. Upcoming meetings are communicated to the group's communication channel, which are outlined on the community GitHub page. It's kind of a, a, a trick to, um, uh, 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 yeah. Again, be flexible to changes um, uh, and not like putting things in here, but only referencing where this can be found. Uh, I don't think that this page is yet set up properly. We do have the community section, and then in here is like le uh, minutes from previous meetings. Uh, but yeah, I would then add a page here. In the last meeting, we said that. Um, the um, uh, by default um, uh, uh, the communication will happen through github um, uh, that's how i also announced uh, this meeting here as a github issue this is uh, something that uh, steve baskov has uh, started two years ago for the um, uh, tech group um, so anybody who is subscribed to this repository mm -hmm gets a notification and um, but I also have uh, a couple of email addresses for people who are not on GitHub and uh, send this out via email separately. So um, I don't have an, uh, an email list as it's currently still uh, yeah, 
pretty easy to uh, to see who's who's on there. Um, but if things change, if if the community grows, uh, we might uh, need to discuss other methods like a dedicated mailing list or maybe a, a group in the Tedvik Slack space, um, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, to just changes or additions to ABCD, as well as raising general questions, please create a ticket in the GitHub issue tracker. Um, so this is pretty set. Uh, and then alternatively, you can also email the conveners for your input or to be notified about upcoming meetings. Um, again, as as a, a, the, the second uh, uh, path we're already using. Um, for the historic context, uh, context um, again, it's it's pretty short. Um, yeah, development started 2001 as an XML schema. Version 2 became ratified Tetrix standard in 2005 and has since achieved widespread adoption. This group but will maintain. Didn't we ratify ABCD 3.0? No, that's ABCD 3.0 is still in kind of a, a limbo. Okay. It's it's because almost I done. That we yeah. ratified EFG extension for version two, and then there was an issue because EFG was ratified for version two, but we ratified the three, and then couldn't work. So... No, um, ABCD three is not ratified. It's it's oh, kind no. of like an it's an almost complete, but not quite. There's there's still some issues to iron out, and with the ratification of um, EFG. Uh, it was then said, yeah, um, uh, ABCD2 is still on, on the TEDVIC website under the section of mm -hmm. like prior, in parentheses, 2005 standards. And um, But since uh, the uh, standards documentation standard has been around, this is how well, standards are supposed to be documented within the, in TEDVIC. And so the, the, uh, the goal is to first uh, take ABCD2 and ratify it according to the new standard, which is not that much work. It's a it's a bit of work, but uh, uh, um, uh, manageable. In um, uh, it just requires the yeah the current documentation to be updated to have um, yeah the, the the terms all on a single page and and have. Uh, probably also a public review again for that um and then in the second the next step abcd3 uh, uh we we are going to address the the issues we already know that came up in there uh and then have uh, abcd3 ratified so uh which is why i specifically haven't mentioned abcd3 here and if we do um have any updates on that we we might need to yeah append this section a bit. What is that? Is that out there somewhere? The version three? Yeah, but version three is in this. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, you you can see it, and it's kind of looking back. It was kind of an, an issue that we had this. Okay, uh, we we announced it, uh, 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 but it's more like on technical level, it's more kind of like a draft or or better version. Right. Uh, uh, and, and we got some some feedback on some issues there. And ABCD3 consists of two parts. We still have an XML schema that is okay. relatively comparable to the previous version, but it um, but it's not backward compatible. So if if you know the old XML schema, then then you can work with that one. But a lot of elements have been renamed, restructured, um, just a general a lot of general cleanup. Uh, okay. But we do Great. have mappings. So there's a table. Okay. Um, so ABC three changes. If you if you go here on the so XML part, yeah. Here's the here's the part yeah. that's confusing. ABC D three point oh includes EFG three point oh. So really, it's ABC D EFG three point oh. No, um, okay. it's again ABC. There is no EFG three point oh. Okay. There's there's an ABC D uh, uh, two, uh, and it doesn't EFG two, right? Uh, and then there's uh, 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 yeah, um, and we haven't done the 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 updated yeah. transformation. But I, I remember okay. now it, the discussion was if ABC D three gets ratified, 
do we need to revisit the extensions? Because um, they were done for the previous version. So that, that was more the discussion we had. If it's a reformat, but, that'll have substantial. The 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 way yeah uh, uh yes in 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 short uh uh yes um I, I might have to look in the in the details um in general the there are three uh so called extension slots in ABCD XML we're just talking about the XML version for now uh, both ABCD two and ABCD three uh, three elements where it says okay here is the the place where um. Uh, extensions can put their content um, on the unit level, on the um, data set level, and I think on the identification, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and um, uh, so those slots are still there. And um, uh, it, theoretically, it would be possible to use ABCD3 XML with the ABCD2 um, extensions. Um, the only problem there is that uh, you then have an uh, within the the extensions, or at least ABC uh, the EFG. That's that's the one I'm, I'm most familiar with. Within the extensions, you are using elements from um, the base uh, ABCD version. So um, uh, that is the possible, but it will lead to some kind of mix up. For instance, if you have uh, one one element that we we heavily reworked was was the just the person or like agent in general would also be a machine. Um, uh, so so if you have a person and and the elements connected to a person, and you have that in uh, within the extension, um, then it could be that uh, the same concept in the extension would be structured according to ABCD two, whereas in the root element it would be structured to ABCD three. But that's pretty much the, 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 as far as I can see it for now, uh, 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 the, the biggest issue when combining um, uh, ABCD3 XML with an older extension. Uh, but in general, of course, we, we also should update uh, the extensions accordingly. Um, and um, some of the extensions have like not no, let's uh, step a, a bit back here. So ABCD kind of has grown a bit organically over the many years, and uh, it was modeled after a lot of different fields coming from different sources. Uh, so this is why it required a lot of uh, um, yeah, uh, unification um, of the elements. And for the extensions, they are more um, yeah, uh, in coming from, from a single... Uh, point and, and so they are probably not as much restructuring required there but of course it, it would be a good opportunity to um uh, to use that so that's does this answer your question uh, i think uh, oh by the way hi tanya <laughs> uh, um that was a bit of a of monologue here um, and um, so yeah, where were we? ABCD three has not been ratified yet. Uh, uh, ABCD two uh, 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 for the XML version. There, there are there's come a summary on all of the things that have changed. And then if you scroll at the bottom of this uh, this part, ABCD three changes, you find a complete table of the mappings. So um, you see um, all of the, the X paths and see whether they have changed between the versions uh, or were renamed. So uh, for instance, one of the paths that, again, we have very heavily reworked were the, uh, all of the legal statements, previously called IPR statements. Um, and then a lot of different names where even I had issues uh, 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 Probably uh, discerning them. Okay, what's what's the difference between a copyright, a disclaimer, a IPIR declaration in terms of use statement, um, and and so this those have now been um, uh, yeah all changed uh, to legal statements, and then we have I think license, we have uh, 
um, uh, copyright and we have other statements, uh, I think for, for everything else, things like that. Um, and again, so you're on this table, if you do have a uh, particular X path or just just a, a name, you can like really search for it. For instance, uh, identification history, uh, you see it has mm, it's moved a bit here. You, uh, but you also see, okay, those elements, for instance, have not changed. Um, so, um, okay, uh, going back to the charter. So, okay, um, so much for the history. Um, this group will maintain the standard under the current uh, standards framework outlined by the Tetric bylaws. Um, this, I don't, um, yeah, again, it's it's the core history and context. So, uh, pretty similar the statement to the to the one for the uh, for the motivation. Um, a summary, a concise public summary. Uh, of the group uh, for the use of the Tetric website and general literature. The purpose of the ABCD maintenance group is to foster accessibility of existing and emerging biological collection data banks on the international level by developing and maintaining a comprehensive commented, common standard for biological collection records. In the process, it promotes a standardization of the terminology used to model biological collection information and it provides a general format for data exchange and retrieval for biological collections. This one is, um, uh, I think, still based on, on the previous version that I cut down a lot. Um, uh, uh, so it's still quite uh, um, high level, um, uh, but I think it, it still fits. What's your opinion? Uh, should this maybe be updated or is it okay like that? I see nodding, okay. Um, yeah, and then the uh, last part are the resources. Uh, we have uh, the standards website, the, um, the one that I just showed you. Um, that outlines uh, the different versions and then uh, uh, the XML part. Oh, and then that's the other part I mentioned. So ABCD3 consists of two parts, the XML part, and, and then there's also the, the ontology that I haven't really talked about it yet, but this also belongs to, um, uh, yeah, um, uh, to the ABCD3 standard. And from there on, it, it's it's a lot more easier also to, to work with um, things in the semantic context. And you can see like the different uh, uh, classes and their associated properties. Um, uh, but anyway, so the, uh, yeah, in general reference to, to, to the website, reference to the GitHub repository, um, and it, within that, the community page, again, the, the one that we are uh, uh, going to fill with announcements on how to get updates and things like that, and uh, the issue tracker. Um, yeah, and, and that's the draft for the new charter. Any things that I might have forgotten or any things that, uh, yeah. We should change. I think it's it all looks very clear and precise, and I'm uh, there are many familiar elements in it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, so I don't have any objections. Okay, that's good. Well then. Um... Let's see what the others let's see what the others say. Yeah. Others say. Okay. Yeah. Me it looks good. Uh, 
Okay, then I can... It's complementary uh, to the ABCD. So the normal ABCD page remains. So I don't think we need to repeat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and regarding the normal ABCD page, we also have the, um, on the Tetrix side, um, Tetrix, uh community ABCD. So that's that's the other page. Uh, um, and that's the page where we will uh, kind of replace the content. So this is still the old page. Like many of the people are, are not involved anymore. That's uh, you can see the the previous text was was a lot more extensive, um, uh, and also have some some elements that we don't need for the for the maintenance group anymore. Uh, it has some links to the outdated uh, wiki for the introduction and. Uh, yeah, but but the uh, the summary is, is the one that's most closely to the to the current one, um, and so this yeah we've gotten a couple of weeks ago an email uh, from from Stan also asking uh, 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 how should this be updated and now that uh, we have discussed this here, I can say okay this is the new uh, charter and uh, uh, this is also then the context for this new page. All right, then um, we are done with that part. That's and uh, to the, the next agenda point: uh, new definition for terms. Um, so when uh, I was working on the uh, yeah pre preparing the the terms for for a fresh um, export for fresh documentation. Um, uh, then, yeah, I looked through the content and I noticed that there were actually a couple of elements that don't have a definition. Um, so um, a couple of years ago, we, we tried to uh, pull together the different sources where ABCD terms were documented. And uh, there was still an old access database that was a bit outdated, but but had some content in there. Uh, uh, there was the, the documentation within the XML itself. So the elements there have, have a documentation field. And there was the, the old Tedvik wiki, um, which has now been decommissioned. And so we, we like pulled documentation from all of those sources together and then um, uh, uh, also published it on the Tedvik terms wiki, um, which is also not accessible anymore. But um, yeah, the... Um, uh, some of those elements like never had in any of the of the versions or any of the sources had some definitions. They were just added at some point, and it's unclear. Like, uh, uh, oh no, some of them are pretty self descriptive. Uh, when when some elements, I think there were come some cases where it was like a element for DUI was added and was um, uh, uh, didn't have a definition. And of course, we just take the definition for another element of 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 what UI and, and put it there and just adjust the context um, in, 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 the, in the definition a bit. But there were some where I was, I didn't really know what to do. Just uh, those are the, the uh, yeah, the seven. Uh, also, we briefly discussed them at, at the meeting, at the last meeting, for a little over a year ago. Um, so the, the site coordinate sets and for, for those three elements, we also have like in our editorial notes that they should really be reworked um, as they don't really um, add much value. So if, if you have a gathering event and you can have multiple coordinate sets um, for that and a single coordinate set uh, or, yeah, um, uh, can then be marked with those. Uh, so even if, if the use case is that you have, for instance, like the gathering that was like took a route and you have multiple points uh, and it's like not directly clear which one is associated with the unit, it still wouldn't be really useful to, to talk about like begin and end. There are other elements that use an attribute for sequence. For instance, if you have... Uh, multiple authors, and you want to specify the, the sequence in which the authors appear, you just uh, 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 count them up numerically. Um, so uh, uh, it would be a better way to do that. But 
as for now, like the, the goal of the work at the moment is not to to fix the issues here, right? in particular since many of them, I don't think that particular one, but many many of the, the issues have been fixed in ABCD3 XML. Uh, uh, so we are just documenting what we have already uh, uh, just to, to uh, give uh, yeah, documentation to what's already in use out there. I'm not sure if any people actually use those elements, uh, uh, but the schemas are published, they are out there. So we might as well just add some documentations to them. Uh, and then we have the, the group that are uh, collected to cultural collection units. Uh, and then for the mycological unit one as well. Uh, let's just look at, at the ones with the definitions that I came up with. Um, so we have site coordinate sets and then the attribute original. Uh, Boolean value to indicate if the coordinates are in their original expressed form um, without any conversion. That's a space too much, but yeah, without any conversion. So just to make sure if if you have like, old data and people recorded it in a particular way, maybe there are some ambiguities uh, in, in data itself just to say, okay, this is the, the original version uh, to make sure that there were no issues in the conversion of coordinates. Um, and then it's kind of used a bit of a trick um, uh, for text-based coordinates, use the field, set coordinates, coordinates, let long, coordinates, text. We do have this coordinates text field, which is kind of like equivalent to the Darwin core field verbatim coordinates or verbatim, let long, yeah, something like that. Um, uh, but this only exists within coordinates that long. So there are like there are also like grid coordinates, I think, within coordinate sets. Um, uh, but this kind of um, leeway in the in the documentation here say if if you have anything that's just pure text based and you want to preserve those original coordinates, just put them into the coordinates text field field even if it's yeah within that long. Um, this was kind of my my idea to to mitigate this and and then it's marked at original and then you can use a secondary element site coordinates uh, where you have the, the proper um, computer legible versions either as that long uh, decimals or in any other way and then um, related to that for the uh, uh, site coordinates that's begin. Boolean value, oh yeah, Boolean value. So in, in, the, in the technical aspect within the schema, those are defined as Booleans. So it couldn't, it's clear it has to be true or false. Uh, it cannot be anything else, uh, uh, which again, kind of makes the definition a bit easier because uh, what could be expressed here, uh, a Boolean value to indicate if the coordinates mark the first location in a line of multiple gathering points where the direct association to the gathering site of the specimen is not possible anymore. Again, it's probably a case that, that has never come up and that's the, the best estimate. We discussed this uh, uh, a while ago within our working group. Uh, uh, the best uh, uh, yeah, estimate what this could mean. And if you then have multiple, then um, yeah, uh, uh, just mark the beginning and then similarly also the end, pretty much the same definition only with a change of uh, mark the last location. Um, is there any thoughts or input from that? Did I, uh, do you think I, I interpreted the, the meaning of those attributes correct or should we widen the definition a bit? Uh, 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 yeah. I just want to have something in here. They probably are not even really used, uh, probably also due to the lack of definition. Uh, but for the ratification, I don't want to like remove any terms. I don't want to um, uh, uh, leave any uh, definitions empty. Just give them some definitions that might in some rare cases be useful for that particular use case. Well, makes sense for me, actually, it makes sense. Okay. Uh... Yeah, and then, then we go to the next group, 
for the for the cultural collections. Here it's a bit more easier because there we we do have a bit more uh, context, a bit more uh, clear what they mean. For the uh, cultural collection unit, growth condition atomized, the aerobicity. Information about the aerobicity of the growth environment, such as aerobic, microaerobic, anaerobic, or specific oxygen levels like 5% oxygen. Um, those are like uh, common terms uh, uh, connected to the aerobicity uh, uh, for um, uh, yeah um, for cultural collections. Um, I'm not sure if, if the specific oxygen levels are relevant or the, the, the grouping of, of those common terms. There were some others as well. I didn't want to make this into a controlled vocabulary. Uh, also, I, technically, I couldn't since I don't want to touch the, the schema uh, other than the definition. Um, uh, and that just gives us some leeway. People kind of know what to expect from this field or, or how to use this without... Uh, uh, saying okay, it has to be one of those terms, uh, and people, you know, relying on on a particular context or a particular words to 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 check uh, the meaning of the element. Just a um, quick question. Um, hmm? um, did you take this from the Excel list that I sent you from the DSMC? Yep. So the DSMC <laughs> already worked on these uh, terms. Yeah. And it yeah. Many years uh, ago. Uh, exactly. The, the The problem was uh, so the DSMZ, the DSMZ uh, uh, in, in Braunschweig, they did the mapping to various vocabularies with their own internal terms, um, and then they they at this and were mapping it to some other uh, schema that I tried to look up. But the problem was that the resources they were linking to uh, are not available anymore, and then even archive.org was little help. Uh, uh, um, uh, but I, I could find one particular documentation where it uh, referenced like uh, uh, um, the kind of re really related term, but it it references the the uh, like um, oxygen level, no, not oxygen level, but uh, um, of the uh, of the culture itself. Uh, and for instance, so there there was the term uh, uh, micro aero, aero, sorry micro aero feel uh, for instance like uh, uh, that, that particular organism like uh, 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 prefers a, a low oxygen environment uh, or uh, 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 aerobic tolerant for instance it, it prefers something but. Uh, uh, it prefers an, an anaerobic environment, but uh, can live in an aerobic environment. But uh, uh, this is um, uh, from the perspective of the uh, of the individual uh, or of the of the culture, uh, not not individual, but um, uh, but, but of, of the culture of of the of the subject itself. Whereas here we are describing the growth condition, uh, so which is why. I, uh, for instance, convert the the micro aero feel into micro aerobic, um, and uh, uh, kind of the same words, but from the from the other side. Um, and uh, yeah, Patricia, did you check? No, I did not check the W. Not because a uh, long time ago, the yeah. whole part on culture collection was actually added to ABCD collaborating with the World Federation of Culture Collections oh, okay. and uh, also with the Belgium BCCM who had a model mm -hmm. which is now taken over in the European Research Infrastructure MIRI. Uh, so you might want to, to check there if you want to have definitions because that work goes way back when I started, <laughs> so we speak mm. here of 2005. Uh, yeah. uh, but uh, uh, I know that from the beginning, everything that is culture collection, we took from from those organizations that continue to exist. 
And now at European level, they are grouped with this MIRI infrastructure and they work on, on data and resources and models. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. we collaborate with them within DISCO also in Belgium. So maybe you want to check there for, for definitions that are... Yeah, for, I... They can I, tell you. Okay, good to come. I, I just I just did a, like a quick search on, on just the website or, or the... Mm -hmm. the um, uh, uh, combining the term aerobicity and I don't see anything there. What's the hold on? Uh, let me double check. Uh, what was the um, oxygen relation? Was the term uh, in the uh, MCLI? No, MCL. So that that was was the one that uh, mm -hmm. the colleagues from uh, uh, DSMZ had mapped. Let me double check for oxygen relationship. No. Now, so quickly, I, I don't find any any resources here. So I would just um, oh, uh, same abbreviation for World Federation of Chess Compositions. No, that's sorry, that that's not the right one. No, <laughs> um, there you will not find it. <laughs> but but anyway, uh, I would just go with that uh, so a uh, quick research deck like, didn't uh, turn mm -hmm. up any any uh, uh, yeah. previous definitions on that page so i would just prefer to uh, go with that uh, uh, definition here mm -hmm. and um similarly they uh, they did a mapping for the the part applications um also like on the information about like a general strain on whether it has uh, uh, medical, biotechnical, or industrial uh, applications. Um, so I thought, okay, this uh, uh, might as well just uh, put this in the definition here uh, to denote possible applications of this unit. I refer to unit, or could also say of this cultural collection, um, such as, and giving those three specific terms that they have mapped to the applications. Um, as uh, uh, yeah, um, uh, as as examples, and if somebody else has uh, other terms that they think would fit in here, uh, they might as well just. And then for the hazard, it, um, hazard is there pretty directly mapped to the uh, term of a uh, biosafety level, uh, and those are like the the defined. Levels for laboratories that they have to range from from uh, level one to five. And five is the one where they have like this whole body suits that are overpressured, so like it, if there are any leaks, uh, 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 no outside air can come in, and and so I just said, okay, uh, the hazard level posed by this unit, uh, i.e., the biosafety level required uh, uh, by the facility handling it. Um, so, as this is probably the most relevant information that uh, uh, this would fall under. Um, the the question is whether I, I have here an IE, whether I should do the turn this in an EG, leaving more room for alternate uses um, of a uh, uh, particular uh, um, um, uh, collections. I know that there's, I think there there's a similar field in, in one of the other subunit areas where it talks about uh, uh, where you could mention things like, uh, uh, for instance, this specific, um, uh, uh, um, particular, I don't know, if, if this particular specimen of a dead bird has been treated with a certain, uh, like, um, uh, uh, yeah, antifungal powders or things like that uh, 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 that pose a threat to to the people handling it. Um, but since this is clearly under the, the cultural collection unit, uh, uh, I think the, the reference to the biosafety level uh, uh, would should be fine. Um, don't know it if it's relevant, but for the mm -hmm. culture collections uh, safety level, I don't remember in which order it goes, but everywhere in the world, it's like 
I think one is the less hazardous and mm -hmm. five most, and in China it's the opposite. And there are a lot oh. of issues uh, everywhere because when they speak about safety measures, people think that the low level risk labs in China, they are actually the higher risks because people always forget that in China, they don't align with the international standards on the risk levels for their, their labs. So I don't know if that needs a definition and so what are the responsibilities but the, the person in charge was a chair of the FCC called for any exchange and question of hazards in terms of culture collection, it's important to, to know that because it can create huge issues. That's that's a good point. Um, maybe we should say like uh, uh, the, the biosafe level required by the president um, and the kind of like a, the, the reference system the the unit uh, uh, of that level yeah, kind of I think, yeah this is so uh, uh, i know so when, when i looked up the, the those definitions hold on a second uh bio safety levels um uh so the, just, yeah really scientific approach here, just uh, calling up the, the uh, wiki uh, PDF page for biosafety level. Uh, uh, but you do have the, the different abbreviations here, BSLs, uh, and in well, list of BSL. But I, I know that I saw somewhere that it said the, the, the different numeration systems, uh, BSL, oh, yeah, yeah, and, uh, of in in um in Canada they they have like four levels like P one to P four and uh, I think I also saw saw a table somewhere uh, where it had like uh, kind of comparing uh, uh, the different different abbreviations and um, uh, in the European Union directive no uh, um but yeah we, we we should we should find a definition here to to add uh, a, a reference to the system um that the level is used because my oh. colleagues from this miri and bmri and so on they need uh, iso standards and accreditation and so on to be allowed to mm. share this kind of data so we just have to pay attention where we set the foot also legally um, by by sharing this kind of information, yeah. especially in the current context, uh, has become more acute than before that they check these kind of things. It's, uh, no, it's, I uh, uh, I added half a sentence here. Um, I.e., the biosafety level required by the facility handling it, and the system of the level. Why is this too vague? And the um, please say you are muted. Well, I said the reference or the definition of the level. Uh, Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I think that that should uh, should do. And then for the for the last um, part, we also have for the mycological unit, the mycological uh, sexual stage, uh, the reproductive stage of the fungus specimen as. It, oh. The, 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 that the fungus specimen is in, such as teleomorph, anamorph, or holomorph. This is from, from my research where I found all the common terms. Uh, I haven't double checked this for the fungi expert. Uh, I probably should have yeah uh, done this a couple of weeks ago and sent it, uh, I don't know, 
to Dark Madrid or somebody else who knows uh, more about this, just to, to confirm that this kind of meets the definition. But again, we have uh, such as, so uh, uh, what I, um, uh, I, from, from what I read, I'm pretty, uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that those of the terms uh, meet the description of mycological sex stage. There might be others uh, on different fungi groups, uh, um, which is why, yeah, with the such as, uh, it, uh, uh, yeah, gives leeway in case I, uh, there are any specific sub terms that I forgot. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, those are the, the seven new definitions uh, uh, that we need to add. Um, and um, uh, yeah, um, if, if there are no uh, other comments or remarks, then I think we can go on with the next uh, part. No, uh, the review of the GitHub issues. Um, we had a couple of, uh, so we do have the repository here, and there are some new issues um, that um, uh, uh, that came up since our last meeting. Um, so we have from Marcus Stirring, which he asked like uh, uh, for a tagged release for the different versions. Um, so we do have what's called a tagged release, um, but um, this version is an archive of ABCD as originally published on the Tetric website. Metadata is not cited. Read me, Mark uh, So when there were some changes in the um, uh, Tetric website, uh, Peter just put all of those parts uh, in a zip file. And um, uh, it's in here. Uh, oh no, it's gonna load. Hold on, I need to extract this first. Um, but I'm not quite sure whether this is actually counts as as a proper release. But it's uh, um, it is marked on on here as a release, and and then now people also expect other. The other versions as releases, which is like a, a way that, uh, uh, yeah, on GitHub you can, if you have like a software and you have like stable releases, you can say, um, uh, y yes, this is the that particular version, and you get all of the the files that you needed for that particular version in time. Um, and uh, yeah, and I think we really need to discuss this. I think it's it's a it's a great idea. It just requires some work. Uh, uh, so yes, uh, I think for the um, to look at what's in here um, for the um, for the future, we should uh, prepare such releases and probably also remove the one that's already in here. Um, so that's the the page. That's in, oh, that's yeah. That's the old. That's that. That's a really old version, where it just links to the XSD um, file. Yeah, we, we we can do better releases, uh, and and we should do that in particular with the different subversions as well. So if people use this as a primary source, then um, uh, they will find the different versions. And as for the uh, release of version three, we can um, uh, uh, if if we probably tag this as as a release candidate or better, then people will find it and kind of understand how how this uh, uh, how to interpret that. Um, then we have two tickets uh, that were uh, created by Gabi, and maybe Gabi, do you want to say something about this? Yes, uh, yes. Um, so uh, we have uh, in, in Darwin for uh, quite um, a few terms about establishment means. 
so the, the origin of something, for instance, uh, it has been introduced, so it's native. And the other thing is, is it a cultivated, captivated um, specimen? And what's the pathway that it came through the botanic garden, so not to garden? I think you all know the problem with locality and coordinates for preserved specimens and samples that um, came originally from a botanical garden or a zoo and are not dead and in the preserved collections. And we already have establishment means in ABCD, but in Darwin Core, there is a control vocabulary for this. So I think if we keep this element, which I would um, suggest, then we should add also the control vocabulary that Darwin Core is using. And I'm I'm suggesting this in particular on behalf of TGBN because we have tons, or let's say millions of uh, samples that um, originate from botanical collections. And we also, also our zoo community is growing and um, the term um, basis of record living specimen is not true for um, sample because it's no longer part of the living collection, no longer part, no longer alive. So to speak. So that's why I suggest those terms to be added. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, I try to to hold on. Try to look up what the current um, uh, definition of um, established. gathering established means um the current definition is um the historical relationship of the occurrence uh to the cited time and place of collection or observation examples wild captive cultivated uh cultivated yes. x wild right i think the problem is that we have added this many years ago and meanwhile, mm. Darwin Core has changed the description and definition of their term um, and have has added the two other ones, degree of establishment and pathway. Um, so we lost track a bit uh, updating our um, part. Yeah. And so the Okay, so so um, established means is how it got there. Um, uh, yeah, no, this is a bit different. It means, uh, is it uh, native or introduced? Yeah. Um, and what we in ABCD use as establishment means is now more the degree of establishment in Darwin Core. Oh, okay. The confusion. And I don't know when they have added these terms, or maybe they were there and we just um, adapted it somehow. I, I wasn't involved in this process. I don't know when it was hmm. included in OBCD. Um, that leaves the questions. If, I mean, in general, I think that that is a, a, a good point to, to continue on and, and say, okay, we. Uh, uh, um, try to to align here with um, uh, Darwin Core, um, and but if we we do want to yeah um, add those or or add control vocabularies, uh, at what point should we should we do that? Should we say okay we let's say for a moment we have like uh, ABCD two in a like in a subversion ABCD. 2.06 F is the version that we say, okay, this is the ratified, the, the newly re-ratified one. Uh, should we then say, okay, we, we continue uh, further developing ABCD2, or should we say, okay, we do have ABCD3 uh, uh, now, uh, uh, and we should uh, only continue the, the newer developments on ABCD3, with the XML part um, and um, 
uh, use this as as kind of the basis to move the community to to uh, transition towards ABCD three. I I would propose the latter because um, I mean you, you know we did already ABCD two point one for GGBN. Yeah, yeah, that's um, a good point. Yeah, in official release. Uh, we use it in GGBN because we needed additional terms. Um, but um, I would not suggest to continue like this because we have ABCD3 and this should be the future. And yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so so we should uh, uh, should say okay, we put like um, try to to like wrap up ABCD2. With excursion conversions, uh, so that we do have a stable base and and we do have the the, the proper um, documentation and verification, and then uh, uh, from there on, say okay, this is um, the done version, and and uh, focus the future energy on ABCG three and its further development. Uh, and since we are at the moment in in ABCD three uh, at this uh, almost done but not quite uh, uh, point. Uh, smaller changes like this can still go in before we say, okay, we we do uh, uh, start the, the ratification of ABC three. I think so too. I think um, as long as the people can still work with two point whatever one zero six, um, but I would also say to um, or suggest that we should um, yeah develop the new things in the version three. Think that okay. makes more sense, yeah. yeah. So this um, this should brings me to the good point that we should uh, uh, look into um, uh, yeah adding some some labels here for the issue tracker just to kind of sort them out which ones are parts that are kind of community related which ones are require trends on on the website and which one are, are standards. And then say, okay, this is, for instance, that's standard related for for ABCD three XML or ABCD three in general. Uh, and then, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, okay. And then, yeah. So th those two are uh, uh, really linked to each other. Um, those those two tickets. We, we did have uh, one other ticket in the meantime, but that one we could uh, solve. We, we got a request from, from somebody who said, um, yeah, they, they wanted to um, do, uh, uh, yeah, they, they also wrote me via email, uh, but put it in here as well. And the email was a bit more extensive. So, so they, they wanted to um, use ABCD, uh, and are building a system um, that is um, uh, uh, that they yeah where they start with the new structure um, and they want to keep this really close to ABCD and we're asking whether there is an XM uh, uh, whether whether there's an SQL schema uh, for so they can just create all of the tables uh, uh, themselves and, and just use that and um, uh yeah we, we yeah the, the gist of the answer was that no there is no such thing because it's not designed for that and it's um uh, uh yeah there are different ways to express certain things uh as yeah historically abcd all, always try to to cover many different ways of storing the data uh and but i gave them a couple of pointers if they want to like uh start out from scratch, they, they might just as well just orient themselves on um, the on the structure of the schema and then like in general every uh, um, uh, every element that uh, yeah has sub elements should be uh, uh, well, not, yeah should be should be tables and and every sub element that can be filled should be columns and some general pointers there so uh, uh, yeah um, that was a bit of kind of user support in that regard. And um, 
And then, uh, yeah, yeah, and the last ticket, of course, is, is the announcement for today's meeting, as we, we said the last time that we uh, uh, also post this here. Okay. But, uh, David, I think yeah. there are tools uh, which create databases from uh, XSD files, yeah. which doesn't make much sense, I would say, but there are tools for this. <laughs> I'm not sure if I, if I mentioned this in here as well, or if they I think, for example, like that. XML Spy, I think, has an option for this. And there are also yeah. command line tools to do this. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not important. Yeah. Good, good they point. never quite They never quite turn out like you want them to either. <laughs> they work, but it's it's not ideal. Yeah, what you get is a, is a massive uh, data <laughs> structure, which uh, doesn't really help you. <laughs> you might as well write it from scratch. It just doesn't, you know. You can impress your party guests, probably. <laughs> <Yeah. with those laughs> exactly. Uh, all right. And then, uh, in terms of uh, a bit of an, of an outlook on, on the upcoming work, well, uh, as I said, we do need to, up to update the, the uh, TEDWIC website with a new uh, charter that we just agreed on. Uh, uh, we're going to do make the new documentation of the ABCD terms and put them on the website. Still not quite clear how, uh, uh, whether we use the, the template uh, that Steve provided or whether we just try to, to integrate it with the existing website that uh, uh, the former colleague of mine created and, and, and try to integrate it there. Um, we, yeah, we have to look at this probably in, in, in the first version, we might as well just um, uh, have a really simple static website for the ratification process just to um, not have the design change or the the, 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 the um, discussion on how to integrate this in the website be a blocker for the, the actual ratification process. And then, of course, we need to start the re-ratification. So, well, um, um, mm -hmm. so are you using GitHub, like the GitHub docs folder for these? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. no, we, 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 it's, we set, David, have set it up. Yeah, I can help. Different. I can help you with that. I've, I've got, I've done a ton of generating documentation pages automatically and things. That, yeah. If you want to be with me sometime, I can help you out. Just move that down the line. Yeah. Pretty sure for. Uh, uh, so at, at the moment we have it. Uh, 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 the the documentation on the, on the third one on uh, ABCD Tedic Org. So uh, right. uh, the content from here is right. in the GitHub pages. Uh, branch okay. of the okay. repository, uh, uh, and yeah, um, is it working? That, that that's working quite well. But uh, okay, uh, so a, a colleague of mine has set this up, and and he's not okay. uh, working with us anymore. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, so I um, I might look. Yeah, I need to look into it. He's, um, uh, he was yeah. just using was using some some I'm not correct, some some JavaScript framework uh, uh, yeah, also for like, things like churches. Yeah, yeah, Vue's great, but I'm I'm curious how he transitioned Vue to which like Angular or React to a GitHub page that that jump that may not yeah. be very. <laughs> it's too bad he's not around because that's I I'm not sure how you, I'm sure there's a way, but I'm not sure if it's how, how what's involved there. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, so that that's the the state at the moment. Those are the also I closed the uh, presentation a bit too quick. Um, uh, 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 those are the, the next steps, and then um, you know I've said this last time before, but that I hope that we have at least one additional meeting of this now maintenance group uh, uh, before the next uh, Tedric workshop uh, round. Uh, uh, just to, yeah, uh, to keep the ball moving. Um, uh, yeah, but we have to see. And then, yeah, if, if uh, now's the point, if you have any other, yeah, questions, remarks, uh, discussion points related to ABCD. Uh... Is there in the next uh, general Tedric meeting something ABCD related? Planned? Mm, not really, no. Not not that I know of. Um, okay. We also like haven't. Uh, 
I mean, the, the, the deadline for the for the abstracts was last week, um, and I'm I'm not involved in any, uh, so I, I don't know. When. I only heard like I, th I think only only know about the one you mentioned um, for the with the mapping for the names, um, matching okay. for the names. So yeah, but yeah, yeah, matching, uh, yeah. We, we we have to see. Maybe maybe there are some some sessions where. It, uh, 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 once the session list is announced, where you can say, okay, we can. Um, well, we still also that. have the contributed paper. If you don't find your yeah. <laughs> place in any of the session accepted, you can submit an abstract. And then we always have sessions of contributed paper. We just have to see with, uh, because it's joined with spinach. Uh, so we have not the complete freedom for Tedwick, we have to compromise with them and their sessions. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, uh, at the moment, uh, uh, since, uh, yeah, I won't be attending in person anyway. And uh, we have I have to see whether this uh, live attending is, is an option. Um, I, I don't know. We, we have to see what the um, what the session and the, the call for papers well, the looks like. The overall rule is in each session, they want at least one of the speakers to be there physically, and the others can be remotely. But we, of course, hope to have more people coming on site. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, exactly. Um, so. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm, about your question, David. Um, yeah. Just one thing I just want to notice is um, I'm working at the moment on the roles of people. And in ABCD, there are not so many possibilities, or you have to put everything in the part owner. Mm. And um, yeah, that's what we do at the moment because we, we had the problem that in the GBIF portal, um, if you if you map your data with Darwin Core or you use the IPT, um, then you have a lot of more possibilities to um, to name people um, with the different roles. And in ABCD, we don't even have authors. And I'm not sure if this is a point that we could discuss in the future. If it would make sense, or if it is, if it makes more sense to let everything in the part owner. Um, I'm I'm just not sure if it is a uh, yeah. point for this group or not. It was just because no, I'm working. No, no, this this is actually a, a good point, and um, uh, uh, yeah, the the roles. Um, uh, in, in general, I'm I'm quite in favor of of having multiple roles and also being a because the uh, uh, in particular like contributor something that's like not quite as as owner or author or whatever you want to call it but something that people that person also did something because uh, you, otherwise uh, uh, if if um if somebody was was like a bit involved and then the the main author has the choice whether to say okay this should they be mentioned as an owner as well or do we leave them out uh, I, i'd say many of them that do deserve recognition are left out. So uh, uh, yes, uh, this this certainly is something that we we should look into and and extend the roles a bit there. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm not. I try to remember how we did this in ABCG three. Uh, I think the the XML part is is pretty close to to the current model. So there's not much leeway there. So um, have just two examples on the chat. One is mapped um, with Darwin Core and the second one with ABCD. And you can see immediately, for example, the authors at the top. Uh, you can see if you go to the top of the, this data set first. Yeah, hold on. That's the second. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Side by side. You see here it's it's with ABCD. It's just published by Staatliche Naturwissenschaftliche Sammlung. Yeah. There's nothing about any authors. And if you have a look on the other one, the, the authors are very... Um, yeah, the top each really person is mentioned with their author and yeah. their, their contact. Yeah. But also directly uh, below the title um, on the top, it's if you go to the top of this one, yeah. Yeah. Up, 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 up. <laughs> up um, still up, still up. Still, still up, ah, okay. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. oh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can ah, see that here. all the authors are mentioned directly here. And yeah, I, I often get these questions from, from researchers who want to have the data published. And then I tell them that with ABCD, I can't do it this okay, way. That... So in contact with GBIF, and now we try this owner way. But um, yeah, I was just wondering if it wouldn't make sense to have an to have owner, uh, to have author um, and other roles, originator and so on. Yeah. And the, 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 yeah, but, so this would be on, on the data set level, right? Yeah, that's a data set level. Okay, yeah. It's, um, good point. Um, can you create a GitHub ticket for that? So we kind of... Uh, have the discussion uh, uh, located and then, uh, uh, yeah, circle back to this uh, with the improvements for ABC3. Yeah. And, and we can I pick can it up it. there. Because, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, it's, it, it, yeah, sorry. So I already included uh, your color check in the discussion. And yeah, but I can create a GitHub ticket and then, yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. Thank you. And then and we, uh, uh, um, uh, in particular, with like the so no the other one, it, it's 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 one thing at the the like we don't mention contributors, uh, uh, but if even the main authors uh, are like not properly represented here on on the um, uh, uh, yeah on the page, that I think that should really change um, because this this also kind of. Yeah. Maybe this way gives us a lot more incentive to uh, for people to share their data. And... Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay then. Um, well, we have almost uh, done to to one and a half hours. I didn't expect this uh, that, that we could fill that time slot. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, um, thank you all for participating. Um, I, if there are no other, uh, yeah, questions, remarks, comments, then yeah, uh, I think we can close uh, the session for today. And um, yeah, uh, I think you are all subscribed to the to the uh, GitHub uh, repository, so I don't uh, yeah. uh, need to to. <laughs> make this a call to action for you as I, I do have it here on, on my last slide so, uh, and yeah, the the recording of, of this video will become available in the next days and uh, the minutes and any other updates are posted on the github pages yeah okay uh, thank you very much and um, have a nice evening